fair and balanced. Fox News gives you context, important background on each story. Fox News tells you if it's analysis, opinion, spin, or BS. Information that's first, focused, and fair. Fox News Channel. We report, you decide. In the Unresolved Problems segment today, manipulative people. Big problem these days. For some people, it is perfectly acceptable to manipulate others. It's almost a lifestyle. So how do we protect ourselves against people like that? With us now is Dr. George Simon, Jr., a psychologist who has written a book called In Sheep's Clothing, Understanding and Dealing with Manipulative People. How do we know who's a manipulator? Well, we know by the tactics that they use. Manipulators prefer to use certain tactics to get the better of us. Once we know what they're really like in character, once we know the tactics they prefer to use. All right, give use. me a flag. Give me, give me some flags here. Well, for, ex for example, you ask a manipulator a direct question, you'll rarely get a direct answer. Boy, I must deal with a lot <laughs> of them all <laughs> yes, the time on this show. You, you really do. Uh, they'll go anywhere else. They'll try and take you anywhere else. So that when you ask a direct question, you should wait for a direct You know answer. what they do? They say, what do you think about it? So you say, what do you think about this? And they go, well, what do you think? Is that a manipulator? Is that a tip right away? That's a, that's a, that's a tip. They're, they're good at putting you on the defensive. They may come up with a rationalization for their behavior that just sounds so wonderful. Makes you feel like the bad guy for confronting them on something. Mm -hmm. Puts you on the defensive. I never feel, Doc, believe me, I never feel bad about confronting. <laughs> that, so that's why they're lost on me. But I have seen a rise in manipulative behavior yes. in this country, yes. especially among children. Yes. And it's accepted, right? It, it is. We are seeing more in psychology of disturbances of character. Back in the days of the old psychology, people were overly hung up overly inhibited about their behavior. Today's people often aren't inhibited enough. They'll do what they please without well, what reservation. What is this kind of lack of parental upbringing? Or do they know, do manipulators know they're manipulators? They, they go home and go, I'm a manipulator. Do they do that? Well, it's a permissive society. And uh, children uh, and adults naturally tend to fight for three things. They tend to fight for uh, survival and prospering. They tend to fight for social position. They also tend to fight for the things that they want. This is natural. How they go about that, what we teach them about how to go about that I, is what character I is think all about. manipulators are cowards. Is that wrong? I don't think so. No? Yeah, I, I think that they're afraid to really go out and be honest about what they want, so they kind of do this little dance and around, and I think they're dangerous. I, I don't like them. I think the word is calculating. They know that if they can get around your resistance, they're halfway home. So they don't want you to see that they're on the aggressive. So they want to keep that hidden. But it's not because they're afraid. They just want to get there. Well, they're afraid to do the right thing is what I'm saying. They might be not afraid of you, but they're afraid to do the right thing. Because they're phonies when it comes down to it. Isn't that what a manipulator is? That is a correct. phony. That is correct. Uh, a manipulative person is basically, as I call in my book, a covertly aggressive personality. They want to get the better of you, but they don't want to be seen as doing that. Right. A covert, aggressive personality. Right. Phony. <laughs> OK. Um, should we be angry at these people? Should we yell at them? We have a minute left. Well, I don't think it pays to get angry with them. Besides which, it's a good formula for depression to try and change them. What we need to know is what makes them tick? What are the tactics that they're going to use on us? How do we respond to these tactics? How do we assert ourselves and not be bullied by their tactics? So just, uh, I read your book, and it's just like nail them in a corner. If you ask a question, they don't ask the question ask again. again. Specific, specific, specific. That's it. But it's a chess game, and sometimes we don't want to play, and we don't have time to play. Sometimes we get tired, and we don't want to yeah, play. Yeah, you know what I do? I dismiss them. I say, you're dismissed, you're a manipulator, get out of here. But that makes me the popular guy I am today, Doc. Thanks a lot for coming in. We appreciate it. Very interesting book. Directly ahead, one out of 12 American kids is chronically hungry. How is this possible with so much food around? And the comedian Margaret Cho will be here to tell us about her foray into primetime sitcom land. Back with those reports after these announcements of interest.